It's Emmy. Hi. Um. So I'm back with another video, and today I'm gonna do a Japan haul from my trip to Japan over a month ago, I think. And I bought a lot of stuff there, so I'd like to share it with you guys. So yeah, uh, let's get right into it. So. In Japan, I stayed with my dad in Tokyo, and most of the things I bought are from the Harajuku area. So、uh, it's like a lot of street wear and stuff.、Uh, anyways, let's get right into it.、Uh, so, first,、uh, I'm gonna talk about what I got in Harajuku. So, As soon as I got to Harajuku, I went to、um, the store called W Heart C. It's like a really cute store. It's really it's pretty popular. And、um, at that store, I bought only one thing, but I thought it was I thought it was cute. So I got this、um, tank top. It's kind of wrinkly, but yeah. So I got this tank top. It's pretty cute. It has milk strawberry. Embroidered onto it, and it's a milk strawberry color. <laughs> and this is like around um um uh uh two thousand yen, which is like around twenty dollars in American dollars. Next, I went to this place called Good Day House, which holds like a bunch of different Japanese brands in one store. So、um, they're mostly street brands, so I don't know if you can find an online store for it. But I first saw this yellow, this yellow tank top sort of thing. It's like see-through and it's like knitted or whatever. And I was planning on like using this as like. To put it on top of like a T-shirt or something, cause I noticed that a trend in Japan, a trend I saw in Japan was like putting like tank tops over、um, T-shirts, and I thought it was pretty cool. This is this is from a brand called Mouth Valley, so I got one of those, and then I also got myself some overalls. I don't own overalls, so I thought this was pretty cool. It's this striped, super basic overalls. These were around thirty dollars. Overalls were from Estacot. Oh, also these were.、Um, this was like twenty dollars. So a little expensive for a piece of cloth, and then, and then I went to a Style Nanda store, and it's like, it's mostly an online brand, an online store, but they also do have shops, but a、uh, shops around Korea. So this is a Korean brand, but they recently opened a store in Harajuku. So I wanted to check it out, and it's like a, it's like it's a, it's a, it's a hotel, and it has three stories. So the first two are makeup, but I didn't really need any makeup from that from Style Nanda. So I went to the third story, and that's where all the clothes were. The first thing that I got was these red track-looking pants. So.、Um, I thought I heard something over there. They're like they're dressy and they're high waisted, so it makes it it has a nice fit. These were kind of expensive though. I think they were like eighty dollars. And then I also got、um, these pink jogger looking things, and this has like a type of like、um, like a windbreaker material, so it's pretty light and. Like if it's like you can wear this in the summer and it won't be too hot. So yeah, there's like a lot of ventilation and yeah. So it's pink and then halfway through it's black. 
and on the back it has two stripes and this is part of the KKXX um, collection I guess from Style Nanda and this was $50 so a little pricey but it gives you that sporty vibe so yeah that's what I got from Style Nanda and then I went to a store across from Style Nanda I couldn't find what the name was because I forgot what it was called so the thing that first that I, I first got from that store was this um, red t-shirt uh, tank top thing similar to the yellow one and it has this um, these flowers embroidered onto it and then I also got oh yeah those are um those were I think yeah twenty dollars and then um, I got these this uh, t-shirt it's kind of unique it has like these holes for your like shoulder area that's pretty cool the thing that really caught my eye were these um, like this type this material on the side it's pretty cool I've never really seen a shirt like this in America but I've seen shirts similar to this where they're like on the sleeves but it's the armpit area so it's kind of similar same thing on the other side so it just dangles around and yeah it's just a simple white tee this was I don't know how much this was probably like $20 so the last store I went to was called Kinji used clothes it's a thrift store in Harajuku and um, it's really organized there were a lot of different clothes you could pick from there was a men's section a women's section but you could go to any of them and there were a lot of things you could get but I only got three things so yeah the first thing I kind of got was this skirt this denim skirt so I got this denim skirt really plain simple it's got like this stretchy thing over here it's kind of tight on me but I can fit into it so it, I guess it works I don't really have any denim skirts I, I have one so yeah I don't have any denim skirts but yeah I thought this was cute it was like 10 bucks not that bad I guess for a thrift store and then I got this um, yellow striped t-shirt okay it's inside out but who cares a simple uh, t-shirt for any outfit honestly that was like five dollars so that was pretty good and then lastly I got this yellow t-shirt another yellow tee I don't know why but I just got it and I, I like the um, lettering of the Santa Fe trail because it kind of look vintage or whatever and then yeah on the back it has a bunch of other words but yeah a simple yellow t-shirt this is like 10 bucks and then uh, I got socks so I first got these um, cute little it says bear letter and it's these uh, cute little blue socks and I got this in like um, Kichijoji it was like a sock store and I got these so yeah that was I think they were having um, a three for a thousand yen so you buy three pairs of socks for a thousand yen and then I got this um, bald person socks um, yeah so I got these yeah it was also the same thing three for a thousand yen I got similar socks for my friends so yeah that was cool and then so that was all my clothing I got from Japan so I bought some makeup from Japan, um, I mainly went to, no, I only went to Etude House. So first I'll do um, my eyeshadows, I bought a lot of eyeshadows. One eyeshadow is like 500, so like 5 bucks, which isn't that bad at all. So I got, um, yeah, I got three eyeshadows, the first one I got is from uh, look at my eyes um, are it's RD 305 and it's 
a pinkish eyeshadow with like um it's got like green sparkles yeah it's got a green sheen to it i'll show you a swatch of it let's see yeah you can't really see the sparkle just like a pinkish shade so yeah, I got that. And then I got this, um, and this is also from the Look At My, wait, it's a, it's a Look At My Eye Jewel. So that's OR204, it's OR204. And this is a goldish color. Um, I wanted to get this cause I thought it would be like a dupe to my um, mono eyes eyeshadow. It doesn't really look like this. I'll show like a comparison swatch right now. So yeah, this is the Etude House. So here is the swatch. Yeah, it's like um, a gold, a goldish color. But then look at the Mono Eyes one. I think the Mono Eyes one is more pigmented or something. And it's a darker orange. Actually no, they look pretty similar in this. I am uh, mistaken, but yeah, so I got those two, and then lastly I got the Dear My Enamel Eyes Talk eyeshadow in PK002, and this is really pretty, it's not a lot of color, but it's a lot of glitteriness going on, and so I'll show you a swatch of this, I don't know if it'll show the glittery thing, Camera, but it's like a pink sh uh, glitter. Okay, you can't really. Maybe. Here we go. See, you can kind of see it. But yeah, it's really glittery. Don't even like that. And then I got myself an eyebrow pencil. Uh, simple. This is like three bucks, which is nice. So yeah, it's a brown eyebrow pencil from Etude House. And then I got two lippies. Um, the first one I got is called the Lip Rich Vivid Tint in BR4, <laughs> BR401. <sighs> okay, yeah. So I'll show you a swatch of this. Okay, this might be really bad, so uh, don't say anything. Yeah, it's bad, but um, it's looking red, but it's really more of an orange tone eye, uh, not eyeshadow, orange tone um, lip tint, I guess. And then I got um, this Etude House Dear My Blooming Lip Talk Chiffon. VE109. It's like a nude. This is a nudish brown color. Um, so this is the swatch. It's a brown color. I'm gonna have to wash that off. <laughs> um, that's all I got from Japan. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully this one isn't as cringy as the last one. <laughs> Probably will be. But I'm going to try to make another video next week. I start school uh, soon, so I don't know if I'll be able to do a lot, but I'll try. Bye. I'm leaving. Till next time. I'll see you guys again. Bye!